What's up? It's your girl Tiffany back with another video and today as y'all can see by the title we're talking about mental health. We're talking about something that no one talks about. We're talking about something that I didn't even know if I wanted to talk about. We're talking about something that is very sensitive. So if you will love to get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and try to watch the whole thing, y'all. Because mental health, mental health, mental health is very important. Make sure y'all follow my um, social media to I Adore Tiff and everything Tiffany. I Adore Tiff is I A D O R E T I F F. I Adore Tiff, everything Tiffany, E V E. E V E R Y T H H I N G T I F F A N Y. Those are my social medias. Let's get right into the video. Okay, y'all. Uh, so we're going to talk about mental health. Mental health is something that I would say that I struggle with. Um, have I ever been diagnosed with anything? No, not to my knowledge. No, I never have. But do I feel like I've had mental episodes or like mental health episodes? Most definitely. Like two years ago, really was triggered with those um, to where I was sad, depressed, crying. In the beginning of this year, I was sad, depressed, and crying. Did not want to get up. Would not cook. Did not clean. Um, barely ate. Literally would wake up at 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning. Stay in my bed until the next morning. Maybe take a shower and get back in the bed literally with two children and it was like COVID going on. It was me going through a divorce. It was me, you know, pregnant. I was actually pregnant at the time and I don't talk about that, but I was pregnant at the time and I went through, this was in February, March, March and April of this year. I went through a very dark time. Um, I feel like, you know, a lot of, our family members in the black community, I'm not sure in the Caucasian community, but I know in the black community, like us to sweep things under the rug. Everybody wants everybody to sweep things under the rug. Like, you know, nothing happens, but when we sweep, thing un sweep things under the rug, that's when we allow things to happen. So I encourage anybody who is going through mental health, do not sweep it under the rug. If you feel like you're depressed, you have nobody to talk to. I know you don't know me. I know I'm new to YouTube, but I am a 32-year-old woman that has been through a whole lot. And I'm a mother. I'm a divorced woman. I am a woman whose daughter's father passed away. I am strong. I am a woman who finished school. I am a woman who very, very talented, very, very, very driven, very, very, very strong. So if you want to talk to me about anything, you know, I might not know the answers, but I, I can just be a listening ear. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, this video was, it's kind of hard for me. Like, I know y'all kind of hear me shaky. I know in my like normal vlogs, y'all used to me being like, you know, what's up? It's your girl, Tiffany, da, 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 da. But I feel like I had to be serious in this video. I had to. And it's it's something that I don't like really talking about. Like I talk about it to like with my close friends, but I do not speak upon a lot of things that I have went through with the world because the world likes to judge, you know? And um, some people can say that they're there for you, but they really don't be there for you. They be there for the time or they be there for... Um, the drama, the drama, they be wanting to know. So I stopped taking a lot of my problems to people 
and I just usually pray about it. Like I usually, um, I don't know where my, here go one of my notebooks. You know, one of my notebooks, I literally write, I write everything. I write everything. I write, I write, I write, I write, I write, however I'm feeling. I write it. It might not be in a, a book that is like a continuously book of just like how I'm feeling one book. My finance is one book, but I write down everything. Like y'all seen my vision board. Hopefully y'all seen that video. I write down everything. I have so many books like this that I just write my feelings in. Just whatever I feel that day, I just literally grab a book. It don't matter what it is. It's just I grab any book and just, it's like four or five books. But I would just grab and write. I probably should write them all in one book. But, you know, I don't know. So I suggest y'all just grab books and write them. Write it down. Like... Don't tell everybody your problems. Don't tell everybody your good things either because people be hating. You, you'd be surprised who hating on you. You'd be surprised who don't want you to win. So I suggest y'all just grab a notebook and write y'all feelings down. Write how y'all feel down. Write anything that you're feeling down. Like the last couple of days, for instance, I've had issues at the store, my, my bank. I've had issues. Now my car is messing up. So it's like... You know, I'm thankful that I could put my car in the shop and I have like a zero dollar deductible. But, you know, what if I didn't have that? Everybody doesn't have that. So what do you do then? You know what I'm saying? And I know that right now is a very stressful time, y'all. I know that. And I felt like I didn't know what to say in this video. I wrote down so many notes. I felt like they were so dumb. I was like, Tiffany, you have to make it come off the top of your head. Because at this time of Christmas time, y'all, I know I'm doing Vlogmas, but... People are really going through a lot and feel alone. You know, this time, I think, is the, the biggest time people are I mean, committing the S word. You know, I don't know if I should say that or not, but it is. You know what I'm saying? So, touch your friends. Reach out to your family. Love everybody. Love on each other. <clears throat> Uncle uh, J Johnny, Uncle Jimmy, Uncle... Sam, there's been touching R Ricky and Sarah over here, and you act like y'all is ignoring it. That's y'all need to fix it because it's it's so much on social media. It's so hard to watch so much of that going on in the world. It's like that's a lot of problems. We have uh the C word, the mandation of the B word. We have so much on top of everyone's daily lives like we have the highest rate of divorces we have and that's because you got to stay in the house all day with your man don't nobody want to be in there in the same room in the same house with your mate all day then you know i know that's hard so it's cold and, and some people have seasonal depression and i think i really do want to go talk to somebody because i think i honestly do have that because it'd be some days where it could be nothing wrong and i'll just be you know out of it very sad and you know don't get me wrong i know that i'm still healing but at the same time it's like no i had this before that whatever's going on with me i had this before that you know then women have PTSD because of the situations they have they been in. Me and have PTSD because of the situations they've been in. People have postpartum. Postpartum is real, y'all. A lot of people don't like talking about postpartum. That's a whole nother video. That is real. I've seen it. I've seen people freak out and that's almost touch my foot. I've seen people freak out and like not been themselves and try to kill them and they mate and they kid. Like I didn't see all type of stuff. So, you know, reach out to your family, reach out to your friends. I make sure my best friend just had a baby. I make sure I reach out to her. Like if I don't talk to her, I love you. That's all. I love you. You know what I'm saying? You good? She be talking about the baby. Are you good though? Are you good? My best friend, other best friend, got two kids, young kids. Are you good? I'm calling. Are you good? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I just wanted to come to y'all and basically tell y'all to, for one, 
this is getting on my nerves okay this is pissing me off but i just really wanted to come to y'all and tell y'all that mental health is real i feel like you know if you feel the urge that you need to talk to somebody please go talk to somebody please go talk to somebody because it can get ugly quick and, and that's when stuff happens and that's when people snap so please um i might get in more in depth with like mental health about myself uh one day i don't know if i'm quite there yet there there yet though for one day i definitely will get more into mental mental health um i love you guys happy vlogmas day 17 um i'm out y'all if y'all need anything let me know in the comments dm me y'all can write me on facebook y'all can send me a smoke signal i'm gonna get it we can talk i love to talk to y'all i'm out Peace.